Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a brand new series. This is Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. And, and, and I'm behind I'm behind the cow. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm behind the cow. By the way, look at the cow, it blinks. It the animals in this mod pack blinks. <laughs> this is a goat, I think. There are hamsters as well. This mod pack is really, really cool. I think this is from the mod Animalia or something like that. A mod that I've never played with. But the most important thing with this series is that this is an expert mod series. And yeah, I, I do consider myself an expert. Okay. Um, uh, how, how do I... How do I... Oh no. How do I zoom out? Oh, for goodness sake. I think I managed to zoom out. Now the difference with an expert pack and a normal mod pack is that a lot of the recipes that we know are changed and it's changed to be a lot harder. So for example, if we take a look at a normal vanilla chest, this is the recipe. You can either craft it using any logs, treated wood plank and a button or using wooden tough tool rods from Tinker's Construct, logs and a button. And let's take a look at the furnace. To craft a furnace, we need four compressed cobblestone blocks. Uh, that's essentially four times nine, 36 pieces of cobblestone, plus two, so that's 40, a piece of charcoal or coal, and two stone gears, which are made like this. Basically, and th that's just the furnace and the, and the, <laughs> that's just the furnace and the chest. Oh, and here's another thing. If I chop down a log and split it, I get two planks, I don't get four. And then if I split these, I get two sticks, I don't get four. So basically, a lot of the things are nerfed, a lot of the recipes are changed. I think, I think from when I've looked through this, most of the things are changed. Now luckily, there is a quest book in this pack to navigate us through the different things that we need to do in order to progress. And the goal with this series, the goal with this series is to get all the way down here to bragging rights, this chapter here, and then make some of these incredibly insane products, like the Sword of Cosmos. I think this does infinite damage, if I don't misremember. Yeah, infinity attack damage. So basically anything is one-shotted. If we can get to this sword, which looks incredibly insane. If we could get to this, then I, th I think we are winning. To get there is gonna take a long time. Now, luckily, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. Yep, yeah, luckily, I'm not alone. I, I did the zoom thing again. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be an issue. I'm playing this pack together with my good friend, Etho, and we have already got started a little bit. You can see in the quest pack or quest book, we have done some of the basic things you see to do any mining in this pack. You have to go through every iteration of pickaxe. And at the moment we've got to iron, which actually took us quite a while. Oh, what are you doing? You're gonna hit it too. You can't just leave me with this guy. We're gonna be playing. How do you call it? Enig Enigmatic? Enig Enig oh, now you ruined it. <laughs> Enigmatica. Enigmatica, no. yes. One interesting thing in this pack, dude, is the fact that everything we do early game yeah. is gonna matter. Like, everything matters. Every material, every resource that we, that we collect we need to save. Did I just waste the full first day of mining out this entire tree just to not be a monster and leaving the canopy hanging? <laughs> I think you I got did. some. Uh, you got some issues, this Joe. Oh, don't tell me you. No, Etho. <laughs> what is this? Just for you. Oh, oh! I'm not gonna die first. Get him, Etho. Uh huh. Because because I have to save you. Uh huh. <laughs> Look at this Rhode Island hen. Sleeping? This guy is sleeping. Do you know how to place the pan? Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you can charge it. And then, okay, hit, hit me in the butt when you charge it. I'm gonna fly. Boom. Whoa, that did well, a lot that of damage. Did some serious damage. That did a lot of damage. I don't have any food. Oh, Why did you do that, man? You told me to. This is true. <laughs> oh, there's mobs. Oh! Uh, no! Oh, I was just gonna say the person who dies first. If someone dies, they have to give the other person something. Oh, no. I think that sounds great, right? Fine. But you can owe me. You can owe me. 
I know no, you don't no, have no. much. No, 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 take it now because it's going to hurt more later. I, I know you don't have much. I mean, you have a backpack. Which I got a backpack. Nice. I got yeah. a pan. Backpack. Got a quest book. Backpack is nice. Ooh, look at me. <laughs> look at me, Ethan. Do you have a backpack? No, you don't. I have a backpack. I'm putting all my stuff in it. So <laughs> wrong. Like, you, you messed up and now you're rewarded. <laughs> Well, you died. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it got a little real, a little too fast. Did you? Oh, we got lava here as well. Dude, I, I know, I know, I mean, this is not the prettiest biome I've ever seen, but there's a lot of resources uh -huh. here. I'm gonna die. Ah! <laughs> Dang it! I didn't have any. I don't know yet. if I should help you or what, because I kind of want that backpack back. Just search excavation, E X C A. Hold on. Oh, it works. It works. It's gel. Oh my goodness, we are idiots. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is, that changes everything. That's a game changer right there. There we go. I'm going to destroy the world, dude. Oh, copper. Got, one for I, copper, too. We can get grout as a reward. Look at what I got. Well, what? Uh, I got a sponge on a stick. Oh! I fell down! No! That's the ravine. I fell down to the ravine when I was sponging up the water. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> well, I'm still alive! Uh, so give me that backpack now. My turn. Uh, are we doing a thing like... If you like... Uh, if you don't die when you should. If you were in a situation where you should die but you don't. You no, see. no, it's gonna get too complicated. <laughs> I guess. Look at what I have, Etho. Ah, you may want to trade for a backpack. Noise. Noise. That's... This, that's mine. Fuck. Oh, you're just showing it to me, I see. Yeah. You may want to trade. We can trade it, though, for, for the backpack. We could. I found, when I was out looking for leather, I found a goat. I killed the goat. Oh. I killed the goat. Felt really bad about it. And it gave me wool. And check this out. Yes! <laughs> nice. Yes, please be in the pack that we can one man sleep. Oof! Oof! This is a dragon, dude. A dead dragon. Look at it! I think what we gotta do, That's I don't. Crazy. Yeah, I don't have any space, but I think if we shift right click on him. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> just... oh, okay, you harvest it. And then you get a dragon skull. I looked for 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 a sheep oh. for ages. And look at oh, this. Where we can get some wool from. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's typical. Oh, furnaces? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, in this pack? Yes. You get the wool as well. And chests. Start, like, we would have been we would have been done. Goodness sake, Etho. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> How long did you look for those cows? And the, oh, the sheep and stuff? So, my goodness. I'm, I'm just going to swap that out so we have a bed each. <laughs> are you listening to these cows? I know, the cows are. What so is. <laughs> Trying to speak with the Dito. He strafes away. <laughs> Apart from the cows, we got a nice place, I gotta say. We got a nice That's place. Pretty good. I like it. Pretty good. We got our slime island. We got our slimes with us. We got our beds. I'm sleeping in the right one, by the way. Um, okay. Don't, don't, what, what do you, th this is, can you, can you? You got some slime in your bed. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, the slime has been helpful eating wise. So we got industrial craft, forestry, and immersive engineering. And since we're splitting up, should we just should you just you just take one of these, and I'll take another one, and we'll do two separate things. Sure, sure. You uh, choose I'm, first. I'm guessing I'm getting forestry, standards. right? Uh, yeah. Is that what you? Oh. I mean, there's yeah, this is yeah. What, I know one? you don't want industrial craft, right? Yeah, that's a. Whew, that's. I could do industrial craft if you, I haven't done industrial craft ever. You know what? If you don't want to do it, I'd I'd like to do it, but okay. Then I should probably do immersive engineering. I think it's important. Yes. Do you like immersive? Somebody engineering? should do it. 
I think out of the three, somebody should do immersive engineering. Let's, <laughs> yeah, I agree. That way. I agree. It it unlocks mechanism, which unlocks the other tech mods. So it looks like that's the most important. I had a lot of fun starting this pack with Etho and our little rule about someone dying has to give the other person something was also hilarious. I think he's up with two items at the moment. Now, uh, that all being said, we got a little bit of infrastructure done. So we got our Tinker Smeltery, we got a few furnaces. That may not sound like much, but I mean, the recipe for a furnace, just to remind you, is a little bit tricky. So every single item is like interesting to me. Now, we split up the tasks into different different branches I guess and I decided to take on the industrial craft gate so what I need to do is get one basic machine casing and from what I understand that will then unlock this recipe which will give us the very first machines to be able to pulverize things and automatically smelt and stuff and I gotta be honest I played a lot of modern minecraft but I haven't played industrial craft in a very very long time basic machine casing so this is what we need to do uh, it takes four aluminum plates, which we can make later in the game. We can make it with machines and then it's one aluminum ingot to one plate. But at the moment we have to do it this way. So with a forge hammer, which is the standard recipe, luckily, and two aluminum ingots creates one plate. Now me and Etho did do a little bit of mining, but we haven't done that much and we're not very organized. We do have nine aluminum ore though, so that's actually going to be enough. There is one thing in this pack though, and that is that... We do not double the ores we put into the smelter. By default, you usually double it. We don't in this pack. So, yeah, I could have just done that in a furnace. To be fair, though, that went... That was really, really quick. And I think I needed eight. I need eight if I need four plates, right? So that plus that creates the aluminum plates. Nice. And there are three different recipes we can use here. Either this one, which gives us four machine casings, this one, or this one. I think the dense plates, though, requires... Yeah, that requires a compressor or a pressurizer. So the only recipe we have available at the moment would be to use iron large plates from Tinker's Construct. And one large plate is eight ingots. So I'm going to need 40 iron. <laughs> 40 iron to do this. That is... That's pretty crazy. I also need a large plate cast, which is simple. Large plate, and then in here, select the large plate, select the large plate like that. We put that here, and I think it only takes one of this molten aluminum brass to create it. Yep. So there's our large plate, and I think we can make, well, we can make one at the moment, plus the iron that we had in here. I should mention that this series does not replace Hermitcraft, it does not replace Funcraft, and I'm gonna try and keep up the, the pace of videos that I do at the moment. This series is gonna be very different. Like I said earlier, it's gonna be a co-op series, me and Etho is gonna be working together, and it's basically gonna be one of these series where we try and get the best infrastructure we can to create all the different things and it has a goal of completion, as opposed to Hermitcraft and Funcraft, and that is to get to the bragging rights chapter. <laughs> Hamster. That's so cool. I guess it wouldn't be too terrible to have some sort of mining area designated. Maybe on the back of everything here by the swamp. Oh, what is this? Is this already... Ooh, a cave. A cave. I forgot torches, but luckily there was, tor uh, there was coal right here. Now, from a quest reward, I got a copper hammer which is just fantastic. That is just gonna help me out quite a bit. I was gonna make stone torches, which I usually do, but it turns out that the stone rod is changed to be three cobblestone like that. I do have a crafting table though, so that shouldn't be not doable, right? Yeah, so I can do that and then that. Nice, that's gonna save a little bit of wood. Cobblestone is something we'll get a lot of with a hammer. Oh, and I shouldn't forget vein miner or ore excavation. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be really useful in a pack like this because well I mean oh can I not mine those oh they get destroyed yeah anyway it's gonna be really useful in a pack like this because we need so ridiculously much of all resources I mean I need 40 iron to create my very first my very oh my goodness the mobs in this pack are weird they got like cool armor on and stuff yeah, I need four, 40 iron to create our very first machine casing. That's pretty crazy. I did get 11 iron ore. And I am going to sleep away the night because I am really scared of the mobs in this pack with all that weird armor and stuff they have. So let's smelt that up. Now, while that is smelting, I want to see if we can craft up time in a bottle. This is a super cool tool. It requires some diamonds. It requires a clock, which is redstone. 
And I don't think I can mine redstone at this moment in time. I don't know if we can see that. And I definitely can't make mine iron with my iron pick or um, diamonds with my iron pickaxe. So that may not be available quite yet. It also requires lapis. But apart from that, I think this is the standard recipe. This bottle accelerates time. So you can like, yeah, make the smeltery smelt faster and stuff like that. It's really, really useful. And I want it as soon as possible. But anyway, there's our iron. Let's cast that into the last of the plate we need. And I'm also going to change this chest out for a pattern chest. Because then it can hold a lot more things and we can break it. Then it retains the inventory and stuff like that. So all the molds can go in there. This is done. Nice. So does that mean I can craft my machine casing now? Basic machine. Yes, basic machine casing. Ding, ding. Did we get the quest? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Okay, so we get a choice reward. We can get a lot of iron, a lot of rubber, or overclocking upgrades. Overclocker upgrades. How expensive? Ooh. Ooh, these requires a carpenter and stuff to make. I'm definitely... Wait, what was that blue stuff? Was that icy coolant? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm definitely picking these. I mean, rubber we should be able to obtain pretty easily. Overclocker upgrades. Thank you very much. So now, did that open up? Yep, that opened up this chapter here. Oh, that is absolutely awesome. So then I click that, detect, and I also get a loot chest from this. Now, I think every time I make a quest completed, I think Etho gets it as well, because we are, or we should be, I should actually check that. Yeah, we are in a party. We call it the experts, <laughs> but it's me and Etho in that party. So he should also be able to claim these things when he plays after me. Anyway, let's open up this chest. Honey soy ribs. Huh. Eight of them. Okay. Looks like the bacon from Flintstones. <laughs> the stuff that tilts the car. So the first task inside Industrial Craft is to get rubber. So that we need a tree tap and then we need to find rubber trees. Which I don't think we've found yet. Now how do I make a tree tap? That looks to be the standard recipe actually. If I remember Industrial Craft correctly. It's quite interesting for me because I haven't played around with Industrial Craft in so long. But I'm a little bit worried. I think I'm going to make two of these and head out. Oh, that's a rubber tree. That's rubber trees. What the? Is this not a rubber tree? I think this is a rubber tree, right? No, it's an ironwood tree. Dang it. That may be rubber trees all the way there in the distance. I'm still trying to get used, used to this zoom function. Oh, look at that. Holiday decorations on the Astral Sorcery Temple. That is really cool, I think. Yep, there's a chest under here. Got to collect all the resources in this pack. And actually, you know what? The chest is quite valuable as well. So let's grab that too. That is a rubber tree and that is a piece of rubber, I'm pretty sure. So let's see. Yep, that's how I get it. Or Okay, it's resin. And then do I cook this up or how do I make rubber? Yeah, I just cook that up to become rubber. Cool. I should probably chop some of these trees down. Let's do this. Let's vein mine the leaves away. That gave us, yeah, that gave us lots of saplings. And then I guess we can just grab the wood as well. Why not? I think this is the smartest thing to do. Just bring these back home and plant them. And then I can get more rubber out of them. Six saplings. Let's do, let's do nine. And then we'll take a rubber and we'll try and cook it down. Ooh, more seared bricks or sticky resin. I guess, I don't know if I need both of these things, but let's cook a little bit of that down. I can't wait to get to Applied Energistics in this pack, specifically with all the crazy recipes. I just want to auto-craft everything. And I also seem to have got a little bit of ice. I think it was from that weird skeleton. But anyway, that's cooking down, so now I got rubber. Is that ding-ding? I think it is. Yes! <laughs> we did it! I do like these loot chests. I just hope that there is some useful stuff inside. Bone block. Is that one bone? Oh, that's 24 bone blocks. You know what? That's not bad. That's a lot of bone meal. So next up, we should make a generator or and a bat box. I think this is probably like a battery what keeps the energy and this generates energy. So what is included in making one of these? We need a furnace, one of the machine casing and an RE battery. What's included in these? Tin item casings, insulated tin cable. Okay, the item casings is tin plates with a hammer and tin plates is two tin ingots. And the cable is a tin cable with rubber and that's cutting up a tin plate. Okay, I can do all of those things. I can actually do all of those things. I may need a little bit more tin though. It turned out I needed a little bit more tin, but also something that I missed was that I needed redstone to make the battery. 
And this scared me a little bit because I didn't think that I could mine it. Luckily though, after a 30 minute mining session, these are the resources that I came across. I, I was scared that I couldn't mine the redstone, but turns out you can with just a Certus uh, pickaxe head. So that's all good. So now I should, I should have everything I need to put this together. So we need the battery and then we need a furnace to make that part. And then boom, there's our generator. Yes. I made my first generator, and I got spare stuff, and we got the quest complete! Ding, ding, ding! Block of emerald- oh my goodness, did we get an emerald block? Hey, that's not bad, that must be pretty rare! Now we're gonna need a proper base area for all of our stuff, but to begin with, just to get into this, I'm gonna plunk my generator down right here, and I think with industrial craft blocks, you can't actually pick them up without having the wrench. Wait a minute, it says you can safely break IC2 machines with a pickaxe. This would usually destroy the machine. And it's really slow. I hope that info is correct. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. That worked. <laughs> that worked. So then this guy, I start cooking up coal and that generates power in the form of EU. I'm assuming that these cables will work to hook up the machines from Industrial Craft that we are going to get into. What even is this? A peahen? Okay, it's the weirdest eye I've ever seen. And it blinks! That's amazing though. <laughs> that is amazing, I like that. Next up it wants us to make a macerator, which is the machine that we can use in order to pulverize different ores. And I think this is the first step towards doubling our ores as well. The recipe doesn't look too complicated. It requires one of these, which requires copper cable, some iron. I think I have all of these things as well, but I'm going to hold off with that until the next episode. So that's going to do it for today. I really do hope that you've enjoyed this episode. And I think also that these rubber just regrow. Yeah, they do regrow. Okay, fantastic. So this is essentially a rubber farm. I can just go and tree sap these away to get more rubber. But yeah, anyway, like I said, I really do hope that you've enjoyed this uh, pilot episode and that you will be enjoying this series. Don't miss uh, checking out Ethos channel for his episode as well. And uh, yeah, that, that that's gonna do it. If you're brand new, consider subscribing and I'll see you dudes in the next episode.